Imagine Music Festival 2021 is canceled. So now what? Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Aid. I'm a music festival content creator. And as the bearer of bad news, Imagine Music Festival 2021 has officially been canceled. And I was supposed to attend this weekend. I literally was supposed to fly out tomorrow and... Now what? <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about what happened with Imagine Music Festival, what led to this decision of it not happening, and just kind of share my overall thoughts. But I'm pretty bummed out, but it is what it is. Seems like going to a festival during a global pandemic and in 2021 is either determined by what's going on um, in the pandemic and also what's going on with Mother Nature. And apparently Mother Nature just doesn't want us to rave. And that is just what it is. It's something that we can't control. So let's just talk about what they issued in their statement. So they said, we are devastated to have to share this news. However, Mother Nature leaves us no other option but to cancel the Imagine Music Festival this weekend. These past two years have been tremendously difficult for all of us. Each of us has been touched by the tragedies caused by the pandemic and severe weather. We were all so hopeful to finally be able to join hands again in unity as we shared beautiful moments we would never forget. Despite all the odds and challenges our team faced, we remain steadfast in our mission to provide everyone the most magical Imagine Festival we have ever produced. However, all of the struggles to produce the show this year and all of the passion to join hands again will not interfere with our number one priority of providing a safe environment for our guests. The weather forecast continues to become more ominous with varying percentages of rain, strong winds, the potential for lightning and very severe weather. Our public safety team, nationally acclaimed meteorologists, local authorities and our team of experienced directors have determined severe weather for Chattahoochee Hills is imminent and will cause extremely hazardous conditions that are unsafe for guests and staff. The site has had a tremendous amount of land improvement over the years, not limited to paved roads, extensive grading, water lines, and French drains throughout. However, no amount of land improvements can withstand a hit from a hurricane or tropical storm and remain safe for staff to work and guests to attend. Your experience as our guest has been paramount in every decision we have ever made, but we will never take a chance on your safety. We can't even begin to describe how heartbroken we are and how much effort and dedication from our team has gone into this show. We are an independent organization and that this decision is going to have a deep impact on our business, family, and our entire Imagine team. We are endlessly grateful and thankful for your understanding and support as we continue to navigate through these unprecedented times. For our current ticket holders, you can either choose to automatically transfer your ticket to 2022 or we'll have the opportunity to request a refund. We encourage ticket holders to carry over your ticket for 2022 to guarantee price and availability because tickets are over 98% sold out with all camping 100% sold out. Please stay tuned for more information on new festival dates and full details on your ticketing options. All of our resources will now be released and have the potential to help in the rescue and emergency disaster relief efforts in Louisiana and Texas. We hope this will be a benefit from the milestone of us having to cancel. We love you and it shows. We will see you in 2022. Honestly, leading up to this week, I was keeping an eye on the weather, you know, with tropical Nicholas the tropical storm Nicholas it was supposed to hit Austin Texas like with rain all weekend and it's just seemed to curve um and that's the thing with some of these storms is we just don't know which way they're gonna go right and so ideally it would have been great if it just went up through Austin and up through the Midwest but it just decided to curve hit through the south how I'm personally feeling I truly just feel for everyone you know everyone that was attending everyone that put on the event anyone that was working the event you know I'm seeing all the posts come through because a lot of my friends were going to be attending this event there was a very big influencer and content creator program attending this event so it was going to be a really big reunion for me and a lot of my friends I've also worked to create a lot of content for this festival and to help other people go to this festival. A lot of my other content creator friends had a lot of content that we had to create in order to attend this festival. So we're pretty bummed out that we're not going to get that return on being able to attend this event and create more content. But on the flip side, from an attendee and a fan perspective, like, yeah, it sucks when you don't get to go to a festival that you've been planning for and that you've really worked your butt off to get to and I truly feel for everyone on all those ends as a fan to give you guys also the flip side of things from a festival organizer perspective had this event continued on I saw a couple of scenarios that could potentially happen we saw with this venue back in 2015 tomorrow world it was a train wreck then because there was rain and because that event decided to keep going on 
And I've just heard how muddy it was, how awful it was. Ubers and rides and cars couldn't even get out of the festival grounds. I personally think this was probably the best move to make. And I know a lot of people might be upset with me for that opinion, but I think it was probably the best move to make just because, you know, when festival grounds get damaged, we just don't know how any of it's going to be comfortable for other people. So whether you are going to be camping or driving to the festival or taking a shuttle, taking a ride share, any of that could have been impacted by the grounds being damaged from this storm. Another thing, like if you're just saying like, oh, well, it's just a little rain, like, yes, rain is fine. But because there was also potential to have strong winds, you know, when you have strong winds like that, stages can fall apart. They could injure someone when something flies out. And also anytime that there's severe lightning, the event can't go on. So I was imagining that maybe we would, I was imagining, didn't mean to do that, but I was having the scenario in my head of like, okay, what if we get to Atlanta and then, you know, we end up getting stuck in our hotel room all weekend, or, you know, maybe one of the days get canceled. We saw it here with Seismic Dance event that day two got canceled because there was a storm that came through that ruined, you know, the festival grounds a little bit. And it was to the point where like it was an unsafe event for attendees to go because stages were literally falling apart. And we were here in Austin. So that meant we could just, you know, go do whatever we wanted. We were in some like out there area of Atlanta, I think, where we were staying. So we probably would have just been stuck in our hotel room, you know, if it were to get canceled. So I was already picturing, you know, what would happen in that event. And I was feeling nervous. You know, I've never been to a festival where it was raining all weekend. I've been to festivals where it sprinkled a little bit, where it rained a little bit, but not like high winds or thunderstorms or anything like that. I've been to one festival where it was electric forest and they had us evacuate for the thunderstorm and we were able to come back in. But with this forecast, it just seemed like it was going to be nonstop. And so it's really hard for a festival organizer to make this decision. And like they said, they have a whole team behind this decision. It's not just one person. You know, it's people working at the state and city level. It's also people that are meteorologists. It's the team on the actual festival team that handles like risk management and safety and everything. And they probably made this as the best call that they can make because camping was going to start tomorrow. Like people were going to start arriving to camping tomorrow. People were already on their way to camp and now they have to turn around. So I truly feel for those people that were already on the road, were already trying to make it happen. And I feel for everyone that was working this festival or was intending to have some income from this festival. And even, you know, the festival organizers themselves, like they're coming back from a year of no festivals and to have to cancel another year and kind of bite the bullet on everything they've already spent. Like that's really difficult. And now they have to issue out all these refunds and stuff. So it's just not a good situation. Sad level I forgot to add to this was the artist. I realized uh, I saw a tweet from Maddie on he doesn't get to premiere Good Faith live. And I'm very sad about that. I don't want to look at the lineup and even think about who I was going to see because that'll hurt a lot more. But between some of my favorite artists I was going to get to see and my newer artists that I've been wanting to see, and I'm sure they were all excited to play Imagine, it's just not great all around so that's just another level that i wanted to acknowledge that also loses out in this situation but yeah just all around sad but i'm just thinking about what we just saw happen with elements um which for those that don't know elements decided to have their event even after having hurricane ida come through and kind of ruin the festival grounds they decided to still have their event and it was a mess from what a lot of people have told me and from what i've heard um, you know, people waiting long hours just to get on a shuttle to go to campgrounds, people getting turned away. You know, it was a mixture of the festival grounds not being ready for a festival from a from a hurricane on top of like not great festival logistics. So I think this was probably just the best safest bet for everyone involved. If we could have gone to the festival and it's just muddy everywhere and it kept on having to evacuate or get canceled or whatever because of like strong winds or whatever. I think this was probably the safe bet to do for Imagine and for all of us involved. So we didn't have to deal with any, you know, feeling unsafe or anything like that. So that's how I'm currently feeling. And, you know, if this was your only festival planned for 2021, I hope you can get your money back and maybe find another festival to attend, still make the most of it. 
Maybe you can find a show to go to this weekend and just enjoy it. I know my boyfriend is going to go to a show this weekend. I don't know what I'm doing here in Austin. I'm personally kind of just seeing it as a time for me to slow down. Um, I just went to Red Rocks two weeks ago. Then I went to Arc Music Festival and then I went to Blended here in Austin. So my body is honestly just begging for a little bit of a break and my mental state is begging for a little bit of a break. I've been going through a lot of stuff personally. So going to Imagine, I was very much looking forward to it because I get to do content. I get to be at the festival and do what I love and get to see a lot of my friends. But I was looking forward to coming back and just relaxing. Um, So I'm taking this as a sign for me to just like chill out, relax. It is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it. It's already been canceled. Mother Nature has already. I'm sending love to everyone that's really upset by this. And I'm truly sorry. I hope you can get the refunds that you spent your money on for hotels and airplanes and your tickets. It sounds like they're going to send out an email and you can either transfer your ticket to 2022 or you can request a refund. So hopefully they will get that email out soon. Um, We were able to cancel our flights and get some travel funding. And I think Emma was able to cancel the hotel. So we'll be getting a refund there as well. So now we just kind of decompress. You know, it's really sucks, but um i hope that you guys can hang in there and you can find another event to go to and we'll just keep our fingers crossed for the rest of festival season to continue on um up next for me i do have austin city limits weekend one and then i will be at edc las vegas and then i will be finishing out at seismic dance event So that is my plan. If you happen to be going to any of those, definitely let me know. I'm really sad that we are not going to have our meetup. There were so many meetups happening and I was getting really excited for all of it, but it just is what it is. So hopefully that this video gives you guys some insight into, you know, what goes into some of these festival decisions. And, you know, sometimes it's just out of our control. I really wasn't that upset. I was just kind of like, you know what? It is what it is. You know, there's not much we can do from here other than just move forward. So I hope you guys can get your refunds and your money back that you can. Um, You find some other plans and things to do for fun this weekend. And you hopefully can find another festival to go to if this was your only one scheduled. And I just hope for the people that were working this festival and also the festival organizers themselves that they'll be good to go and be covered. Um, Because I know there was probably a lot of income for a lot of these people that aren't they are now missing out on. Those are my thoughts. Um, Feel free to share your thoughts down below in the comments. Like I said, these were all my opinions. So if you're hurt, upset, mad, whatever about the decision, feel free to let it out in the comments. I'm sending you guys my love. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and whatnot. I'm definitely going to keep the content train going just because there's no Imagine content coming, which really sucks. I was looking forward to those vlogs, but There will definitely be more to come. So if you're interested in more festival vlogs and content, definitely hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.